welcome to Along for the Ride. I'm Rachel and I'm here today at Cedar Point. But you know what? This place certainly is shady. All around Cedar Point, we have shady spots, shady benches. So just be on the lookout over here by guest services. They do have a couple benches in the shade and they will be intermittently spread out throughout the park. There'll be little spots that you can go and just get a little bit of reprieve from the heat. And as we go, I will show you those places we find. And by the end of this video, we're gonna find out where is the best place to go. You are over here by Millennium Force and you're looking for a shady place to sit. There are a few benches that are in the shade behind the lockers. Look at those people, they look so cool up we have the red garter saloon this is one of our favorite places to go and hang out and they have bands at play they have drinks alcoholic and non-alcoholic along with food so this is a cool place to go and just hang out we are here just between millennium force and the frontier trail and there are lots of really nice shady places to sit they have benches that are starting to get themed to frontier town not quite Pretty much like you're still on the trail here but you can see how nice and shady it is and you can definitely tell that there is a significant temperature difference when you're in the shade we are currently um, going under the bridge towards the frontier trail you can hear millennium forest and overhead but this is probably the shadiest walking section of the park so if you are just looking to cool down Usually we opt to take the train because it's just easier on our feet and if we can save our feet Obviously, that's something we're going to do But since we are doing a video all about the shady things here at Cedar Point This is probably our favorite way to cool down get a little bit of like Ambiance, but if you look like there's just shade Absolutely everywhere. So like the Trail Tavern, which is a fun little bar to go into. And then they have outdoor and indoor seating. So nice little place to cool off. And the entire Frontier Trail is tree covered, nice and cool. And it's just kind of like a fun little and neat place to explore. You can also do horse riding. So also here on the Frontier Trail, and right in front of the Frontier Fling, it's actually a spot where you can watch those that we have some people going up in that swing right now but they have adirondack chairs and a nice shady spot to sit so this is another really popular area to go for a little bit of you know shade privacy and if you were nursing this might be a good spot to nurse occasionally there are people up here but for the most part it's kind of its own little section and kind of a quiet place so this is located just outside of like the frontier town proper heading towards the frontier trail and it's the glass blowing theater and if you just come around here a little known secret they do have glass blowing which is pretty awesome this may be one of my favorite places to go because not only do you get covering but also you get to watch them make some really cool glass blowing creations. He's a dancing baby. We are here at Cedar Creek Hollow, which is a bridge that connects um, the frontier town to the farmhouse and this is a nice and shady place to get away from the sun. The ridge used to be part of the antique cars that were here um, in Frontier Town. Those have now been removed. They do still have antique cars at the front of the park but this is a shady spot where you can go and just, there's a nice breeze, cross breeze coming through here. And um, we do like to come here, look at the water. And it kind of reminds us of the old times when Kyle and Marissa went to the coaster camp out. They actually camped right here, right, there's a tree over there and they spent the entire night there. So I'm gonna link that video down below if you've not yet seen the coaster camp out video, something that Cedar Point hasn't done since that time but it was a really cool experience and we hope one day that they bring that back because that was certainly cool. Located here in Frontier Town, there is a first 
Aid Relief Station, which is over by, like there's bathrooms. And let me give you a point of reference. So to our right, we have Maverick and Steel Vengeance. And if you were to go this in front of us, there's that bridge that goes over to the farmhouse. And they do have this first aid station. And well, if you become dehydrated, if you didn't take our advice and get some shade during the day, you just might need to come here to Frontier Town to the first aid and get aid for avoiding the shade up is Lusty Lils. So if this happens to be open while you are at Cedar Point, check your app for times and shows and things. Um, this is a really fun place to go get away from the sun. They usually have production shows with singing and dancing and it is fabulous. We're now here in Camp Snoopy and if you're looking for a shady place, it's very slim pickings. They do have like seating completely in the sun. And then they'll have like some shaded little umbrella benches, benches but they're very few. So the problem is that there's so many people here that want to sit because they have little ones um, that it's hard to find. They get filled up really fast. I do feel like this is an area where Cedar Point needs more benches and more shade because I think we just go from, if you have a young one, you know, you just go from ride to ride to ride to ride to ride and so you kind of stay in your own waiting. Yeah. So I think that if we had a suggestion for Cedar Point, it would be um, maybe put some umbrellas in on those picnic tables. picnic tables or like give us a couple extra benches in here that have shade. Okay. Wouldn't it? Now, if you're here at Cedar Point, you're most likely coming here for the rides. So this would be our top pick Snake River Expedition for getting out of the sun if you still want to ride some rides. Most of the ride queue is in an air-conditioned or cooler building. And then as you can see, you're on a boat. There's quite a bit of shade and you get that breeze. So this is a really good attraction. It's a good nice for the entire family. It's like a boat ride with animatronics and they kind of do a spin, kind of like a Jungle Cruise, Disney's Jungle Cruise vibe where they do some jokes. It's really cute and it's a nice way to get out of the sun as a whole family while riding something. Here on the new boardwalk is a wonderful addition, the Grand Pavilion. It does have two stories and provides great shade. If you're going upstairs, you'll usually get some good air conditioning. If you go out on the upper deck patio, you get that breeze from Lake Erie. So this is a really nice place to go. And it was really happy that they had an indoor location here on the boardwalk where it's very sunny. And so this is a really cool place to go and it's nice and shady. But if you're looking for something outdoors, right here behind this new boardwalk sign is a outdoor space. All right, so we're just sitting here under the awning over near the gatekeeper and there's like the Coke Freestyle and the Froyo behind us. And this is a really nice shady spot to eat, to hang out if you're over on the boardwalk and you're looking for shade. I recommend this area. There usually is a table or a lot, there's lots of chairs, lots of seating, lots of shade and um, you get the breeze from the water because you're near the beach. And so this is one of our favorite places in this boardwalk area to kind of get a little bit of a We are over here in Kitty Kingdom and Kitty Kingdom has quite a few benches and a little bit more shade than like Camp Snoopy, but it's still kind of sparse in comparison to like a number of kids rides. So we snagged right over here by the carousel, a shady spot and um, it's really nice. But I would say that that's one thing in the kids areas, it would be really nice to have more. We are currently in Hugo's, which is the Hugo's Italian kitchen, which is right in the midway, pretty close to the front of the park. If you're looking for some shade or a nice place to sit and get some air conditioning and a break from the sun, this is my favorite place to do that. It's one of the only restaurants, there are more, but this is one of the few where there's a good amount of seating and it's indoor and it's air conditioning. So if you're looking for shade and to kind of get out of that hot sun and get some air conditioning, this is my favorite place to go and a hot tip, their bathrooms are usually pretty clean in here. And so you can eat, you can rest, you can get some air. I wish this wasn't so close to the front of the park because it's something I would frequent even more. 
So it's kind of a haul to get over here, but if you can plan a lunch, or if you can plan like around two or three, that hottest part of your day to come here, it's a really nice like break from the hot tub. All right, we're coming up on the Jack Aldrich Theater, and this is my favorite activity that you can do um, while you look for shade. So in the midsummer this year, they had Come See About Me. It was a fantastic Motown show. And right now it is over, sadly, and we're getting into the fall. But let's say you're here in the midsummer, going to some of the shows, getting out of the sun for a little while is an amazing, Thing. I wish it wasn't at the front of the park again because you're going to have to walk all the way up here but you may as well come to the show, go to Hugo's, cool off a little while and then go back into the parks and ride some more rides. We made it into the VIP lounge to get water, a little bit of shade. So if you are a Prestige Plus pass holder this season, which is going to be totally different next season, so keep that in mind or you have access, basically if you have access to this VIP lounge, this is the ultimate space for cool shady spots they also have these big huge fans going this big tent they have all this seating and they even have tvs in here so if you decide to do that upgrade this is the ultimate shady place here at cedar point so between the shows the food the different attractions, the arcade, all the different activities. There are plenty of ways to stay nice and cool here at Cedar Point. Just remember to not take it real crazy. Take the breaks when you need them and stay cool, just like this cow with his shades. Okay, that ends our day here at Cedar Point. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so because it's the absolute biggest compliment you can give us and We'll see you in our next video. Yeah. Thanks for coming along with the ride.